Michael Kraus, uh, emeritus professor of, and founder of the uh, Alaska Native Language Center, when he came to Alaska in 1960, immediately recognized the endangered status of the EAC language. It established a native language center at the University of Alaska Fairbanks for the purpose of studying Alaska native languages. And language. That was 50 years ago. He at the time wrote about how endangered it was, how in need of documentation it was, how few speakers there were, and immediately set about a project with National Science Foundation funding to uh, document the language, to create a dictionary, to create a volume of text, to create a, a grammatical description. And because of this, we have some very good documentation of the language, which we wouldn't otherwise have. In addition to the Alaska Native Language Center, there was the Alaska Native Language Program paired with that, which I was also, in this case, chairman, um, for the teaching of Alaska Native Languages in the university. Yeah. So I, I think the lesson there, then, is other languages in Alaska have not yet gone the way of EAC, but we know eventually many, if not most, will. We need to ensure that we have sufficient documentation on, of the quality of, that we have for EAC so that in the future we will have a record that can be used for teaching and learning these languages.